Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. The GBI says two people are in the hospital after a domestic situation in Austell led to an officer-involved shooting on Thornton Road. No officers were injured. Fox News Angelique Proctor joins us from that scene in Douglas County to explain what happened, Angelique. Well, Christine, uh, a 19-year-old girl tells me that this was actually a domestic situation. She says her father came by to pick her up last night, but she didn't want to go with him. She says her father had a gun, and that's when the people she was staying with called police. 19-year-old Jemiah Holiday shared this picture of her and her father, Ricardo Tuggle, during happier times. Jemiah says her dad suffers from mental illness and was unstable Tuesday night when he dropped by the townhouse where she was staying on Drennan Avenue to pick her up. Jemiah says she didn't want to go with her dad and a woman he had in the car, but Tuggle insisted and had a gun. So Jemiah's friends called cop police. The GBI says cop police asked Tuggle to stop, but he wouldn't. So they chased him into Douglas County and performed a pit maneuver that ended the chase here on Thornton Road. A witness who lives nearby but didn't want to show his face picks up the story from there. I was at my house and I heard a whole lot of police sirens and heard a car accident. So I came over here to see what was wrong. After the crash, the GBI says Tuggle reached under his seat. That is when officers opened fire, injuring Tuggle and his female passenger. The witness heard it all. Now, shortly after that, um, gunshots um, took took off on the car. How many gunshots did you um, Tons, really. The GBI is now conducting an independent investigation of this, the 37th officer-involved shooting this year. I was pretty scared, you know, and, and more than anything, I was scared for the person in, in the car because I'm, I'm sure they were scared themselves. And both of those suspects are being treated at Grady Hospital. The GBI tells me they are in stable condition. We are live in Douglas County. Angelique Proctor. Yes. All right. Angelique, thanks for that update. Well Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.